Hi guys, welcome to this activity about Taylor polynomials. So the question is determine the third Taylor polynomial of given functions at x equals 0. So first of all, we're going to write the formula of the third Taylor polynomial at x equals 0, which is p3 of x equals, the first term is f of 0, which is a constant, plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial times x plus f second of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared plus f third of 0 over 3 factorial times x cubed. Now we're going to apply this formula to find the third Taylor polynomial of the given functions. So let's start with the first one f of x equals 5 exponential to x. And here, the first thing to do is to compute f of 0. So f of 0 is equal to 5 times exponential 2 times 0, which is 5. f prime of 0, we're going to compute it using the exponential rule for the derivative, and the exponential to x prime is 2 exponential to x times 5. It gives 10 exponential to x and f prime of 0 is obviously 10. For f second, f second of x we're going to multiply by 2 again, so we're going to obtain 20 exponential to x, and f second of 0 is 20. The last term is f third of x, and we compute it using the exponential rule again for the derivative, and we're going to find 40 exponential to x, and f third of 0 is 40. Now, we're going to use these four quantities to write our p3 of x. So, we're going to apply the formula. p3 of x will be equal to the constant term f of 0, which is in this case 5, plus f prime of 0, which is 10, over 1 factorial times x, plus f second of 0, which is 20 over 2 factorial times x squared plus 40 over 3 factorial times x cubed. Of course, we can simplify this formula, so we can write our p3 of x in a simpler form. p3 of x will be equal to 5 plus 10, since the 1 factorial is 1, plus 10 x squared, since 2 factorial is 2, so 20 over 2 is 10, plus 20 over 3 times x cubed. Now, let's move to the second function, which is f of x equals 1 over x plus 2, and the first thing to do here is to use negative powers. So we can write our quotient as a power, and it will be easier to differentiate, okay? So f of x is equal to 1 over x plus 2, so which is equal to x plus 2 to the power of negative 1, and we're going to evaluate f of 0 first. So f of 0 is 1 over 0 plus 2, so it's equal to 1 over 2. The second term is f prime of x, so f prime of x is equal to negative 1, which is the power, times the derivative of x plus 2, which is 1, times x plus 2 to the power of negative 1 minus 1, so to the power of negative 2, and we can write it, of course, negative 1 over x plus 2 squared. Now, we're going to evaluate this quantity at 0, so f prime of 0 will be equal to negative 1 over 4. The third quantity to compute is f second of 0, so Let's compute f second of x first. So f second of x is equal to negative 1 times the power is negative 2 times the derivative of x plus 2, which is 1, so we'll not write it, times x plus 2 to the power of negative 3. And we can compute it, of course. We can compute f second of 0. And we have negative 1 times negative 2, which is 2, times 
0 plus 2, which is 2 to the power of negative 3, and 2 to the power of negative 3 is 1 over 8. So at the end, you will obtain 2 over 8, which is 1 over 4. Now let's move to f third of x. We have the 2, and we're going to differentiate x plus 2 to the power of negative 3, so it's times the power negative 3, times the derivative of x plus 2, which is 1, so we'll not write it again here, and x plus 2 to the power of negative 4. Now we can evaluate a third of 0, and a third of 0 will give negative 6 over 16. And negative 6 over 16 is negative 3 over 8. So we can write it, it's equal to negative 6 over 16, or negative 3 over 8. After computing these quantities, we're going to write our Taylor polynomial. So p3 of x will be equal to f of 0, which is 1 over 2, 1 half, okay, plus, so 1 half, which is f of 0, plus f prime of 0, which is equal to negative 1 over 4, over 1 factorial, which is 1, we're going to simplify it, uh, simplify it later, times x, plus 1 over 4, which is f second of 0, over 2 factorial, times x squared, plus the last term, which is negative 3 over 8, over 3 factorial, times x cubed. So here we obtained our third Taylor polynomial, and we're going to simplify it a bit here, so it's equal p3 of x is equal to 1 half minus 1 over 4 times x plus 1 over 8, since you have 2 factorial in the denominator, times x squared, minus 1 over 16, times x cubed. So this is the final form of p3 of x. Now let's move to the third example, which is a square root of 4x plus 1. And again here, we're going to write it as a power to make the derivative easily. Okay? So we can write it as 4x plus 1 to the power of half. And we're going to evaluate f of 0 first. So f of 0 is equal to 4 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 to the power of half. So it's 1 to the power of half, and the result is 1. Now, we're going to compute f prime of x. We're going to use the power rule. So it's equal to 1 over 2, which is the power, times the derivative of 4x plus 1, which is 4. Don't forget that you have to make the derivative of the uh, quantity inside the brackets, okay? times 4x plus 1 to the power of half minus 1, which is negative half. And we're going to evaluate f prime of x at 0, so f prime of 0, it's equal. 1 over 2 times 4, it gives 2. 2 times 1 to the power of negative half, so the result is 2. f second of x, again here we're going to use the power rule, we have 1 over 2 times 4, which is already 2, times the power, which is negative half, times, don't forget the derivative of 4x plus 1, which is 4, times 4x plus 1 to the power of negative half minus 1, which is negative 3 over 2. Again, evaluate this quantity at 0, so f second of 0, which is equal to ne 2 times negative half, which is negative 1, times 4, which is negative 4, since the 4x plus 1 is already is always 1, so to any power it gives 1. A third of x, again, power rule, we have already negative 4, don't forget, times negative 3 over 2, the power, times the 4, which is the derivative of 4x plus 1, times 4x plus 1 to the power of negative 5 over 2. Okay? negative 3 over 2 minus 1 is negative 5 over 2, 
we evaluate again at zero. So a third of zero is equal. So we have negative four times negative three over two times four, and the result is 24. Now let's write P3 of X. So we're going to apply the formula of the third Taylor polynomial at X equals zero. P3 of X is equal to the constant term, which is one plus F prime of zero, which is two over one factorial. So plus two over one factorial times X plus negative four, which is F second of zero over two factorial times x squared plus 24 over 3 factorial times x cubed. So we can simplify this expression and we'll get 1 plus 2x plus or minus sorry minus 2x squared and plus 4 x cubed since 24 over 6 is 4. So this is the simplest form of P3 of x. We are done for this activity. See you in the next videos.